You are building a product on top of Google Kubernetes Engine, GKE. You have a single GKE cluster. For each of your customers, a pod is running in that cluster, and your customers can run arbitrary code inside their pod. You want to maximize the isolation between your customers' pods. What should you do? A. Use binary authorization and whitelist only the container images used by your customers' pods. B. Use the Container Analysis API to detect vulnerabilities in the containers used by your customers' pods. C. Create a GKE node pool with a sandbox type configured to GVisor. Add the parameter runtime class name, GVisor, to the specification of your customers' pods. D. Use the cos underscore contained image for your GKE nodes. Add a node selector with the value cloud.google.com slash gki-os-distribution colon cos underscore container to the specification of your customers' pods. Now take 10 seconds to think about the answer. The correct answer is option C. You are building a product on top of Google Kubernetes Engine, GKE. You have a single GKE cluster. To maximize isolation between customers' pods in a Google Kubernetes Engine, GKE, cluster, the recommended approach is C. Create a GKE node pool with a sandbox type configured to GVisor. Add the parameter runtime class name, GVisor, to the specification of your customers' pods. Explanation. C. By creating a GKE node pool with a sandbox type configured to GVisor and specifying runtime class name. GVisor in the pod specification for customers' pods, you can enhance isolation. GVisor is an open source user space kernel, providing improved security and isolation by acting as a sandbox for running containers. It adds an additional layer of protection between containers, reducing the risk of security vulnerabilities and malicious code. Options A, B, and D are not specifically focused on maximizing isolation between customers' pods. A, using binary authorization and whitelisting container images helps control the sources of container images used by customers' pods, but it doesn't directly address maximizing isolation between pods. B, using the Container Analysis API to detect vulnerabilities in container images is valuable for ensuring the security of the container images, but it doesn't directly address isolation between customers' pods. D. Using the cos underscore contained image for GKE nodes and adding a node selector with cloud.google.com slash gki-os-distribution colon cos underscore contained in the pod specification helps ensure a specific container runtime for the nodes, but it doesn't directly address isolation between customers' pods. Maximizing isolation is best achieved by using a sandbox type like GVisor, which provides additional security and isolation features for running containers within the GKE cluster.